Hi. Welcome to Corbin's intros, where he explains what's going on in front of him. A disgusting man has his shirt off with his hairy nipples out. I want to vomit. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Directions TV. It's I'm Corbin. I got nipples. That and you can follow us on Instagram. It's so juicy. Thank you so much for joining me. Also, if you're mean, I'm going to block you. I just wanted to tell you that. Uh, but today. More power to you, man. More power to your mom. And uh, today. What are we doing, Rick? What are we doing? I don't know. You want to see my tiger scratch tattoo? No. By my hairy nipple? No. No. Kiss it. Kiss the tiger, Corbin! And we're gonna get demonetized because of you. Uh, we reacted to a trailer. It's a uh, Bengali language. Yeah! Drama. Sweet. From 2012. Wanna read all this for me? I do. A Bengali language drama from 2012. Chitranganda. The Crowning Wish. Mm -hmm. Note! It's in all caps with exclamation points in front and behind. In the lead role is the writer and director of the film. Ritu Parnagosh. The film tells the story of a choreographer who's struggling with his gender identity. Bring it on. In 2012? Rock and, and roll. India amazes me sometimes. Like, it's the stuff that you'd think would come out in Hollywood now. Because right. Because of how um, aware people are of it now here. But yep. they've been doing these types of films for I a know. long time. And I've got to tell you, it's such a... It's so weird. Uh, it's because of the size of India and yeah. the dispersion yeah. of so many different t people groups. Because well, you get everything from this to you'd get regions of India who would boycott this yeah. film. You know, so it's just it's it's it's. But similar, I agree with you. Similar to America, though. Similar to America. So we're just we're just um, that where there's a smaller. They've been um, around longer, so they've but, had more time to evolve. Yeah, as human well, beings. and they've they've also it's just the space and the amount of people. I mean, they're five times as large as we are with their population and but yeah I agree with you that's one of the things that's most impressed us about Indian cinema irrespective of region mm. is subject matter has really impressed us that's and, one, and prominence of woman having yes. amazing roles yes that's that's just and we've seen it not just recently India has been way ahead of the curve when you look at the time frame and you look at American cinema versus Indian cinema in our exposure, mm -hmm. India's way ahead of the curve in covering subject matter that Hollywood wouldn't touch and wasn't commercially acceptable. You guys were doing it way before Hollywood. <laughs> like we know. Here yeah. we go. It's not really loud. I'm not sure what to call you. What are you doing? She tried with this condition to be a man. That's how she's brought up. I've been a perennial embarrassment. Wow. Subject matter looks really cool. Did you? The, uh, Who's the 
lead actor. Yeah, he he gave me vibes of um, not funny wise, but vibes of he can bring it like Nathan Lane, a little bit. Yeah, like I'm um, thinking of Nathan Lane in um, uh, what's it called? You know, Birdcage, Birdcage. but not funny. Right. Obviously, this is not funny. No, uh, but he he gave me like Nathan Lane's a, a, one of the most. Probably no. one of the most acclaimed theater actors ever. Of all time. Right? Yeah. Uh, the dude is amazing. Uh, and he was giving me some of those vibes, uh, but like e literally even more so. Yes. Um, it, it, he also was giving me just... He was giving me Oscar-level yeah. work right there. He was being very honest. Very, very honest. Uh, like, I want to know about not, this actor. Not trying to play it up. No. It, uh, re it reminded me, the honesty in what I was seeing in those short moments reminded me a lot of the honesty that Leto gave in Dallas Buyers Club. Oh, yeah. Um, taking nothing away at all from both as well. Um, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, Matthew McConaughey was brilliant in that as well, but there was, there was a level of, and it may be because his character was more feminine, Leto's, Leto's character had such a level of, of honesty, as well as one of my favorite roles um, is in uh, Rent. Uh, yeah. uh, absolutely love uh, that, the character. Um, oh, good grief. You know what I'm talking about. I can't place it, though. Um, has the great musical number bang on the drums and stuff. In, in which one? In Rent. Oh, uh, um, yeah, I can't. And is always dressed like a woman. Yeah. And they have a love about. song together. Yeah. I can't, I can't. Uh, there's just, uh, I'm so, 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 okay. I want to see this go. film. Wanna, uh... Yeah, the synopsis. Uh, it's a lusciously lit, I could tell, yes. and deeply personal drama about a choreographer considering a gender reassignment surgery. The film also explores insights into how gender expression can affect families. That's also what it reminded me of. It reminded me quite a bit of the vulnerability and honesty that I saw in um, The Danish Girl. Oh. Um, Ugh, if you yeah, if you haven't seen The Danish Girl, The Danish Girl is such, it's a true story, and it's a really, uh, Alicia Vikander, and, um, oh, good grief. <sighs> Eddie Redmayne. Redmayne. <laughs> I was just gonna wait for you to get it. And, and, and Eddie Redmayne, and, and which is also a true story. It's the it's the true story of the first ever uh, sexual uh, gender reassignment surgery to take place. Um, powerful, very, 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 very well done. This looks incredible. Is that the person who had a gender reassignment in it? It was playing the, the lead character. Yes. You think so? I believe so. Because I believe they're also directing it. Is this the writer-director? Is this a, like a, a passion project for them? Also, it looks like he died in 2013. A year after this came out? Is that true? Hold on, let me see. Let me see. And is he also the lead? It says died May 30th. That's the face. That's the same person. Did he write, direct, and star in this? Is this his own story? Because didn't he say in this he, he died of an Ill illness? And... Go, go, go to full biography. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's a Bengali film director, won 12 national awards. He won the national awards, so where's the rest of his story? That's not his biography, that's just his resume. Yeah, I'm wondering, because didn't it say in the trailer that she died or had an illness at the end? Well, it gave the, imp the, the clear impression that that was the case. You could hear the, the sounds of, you know, the deep beat for your heart monitor. I'm um, wondering if this was like a deeply, deeply personal, it, real story. If this was written and directed and starred, it's probably about as personal as it gets. And it would explain why I saw so much honesty in his face. Man, I want to see this. Wow, if, you, yeah, if he's reliving stuff that actually happened, stuff he went through with his family, obviously just the struggles he went through in real life, if, he, if this is actually his story, if not the story of this person in it, uh, who's struggling with their identity and their gender? Um, man, that's a that's as personal as it gets. If, yep. if it's if this is his story, I don't know if it is. You can let us know. Yeah. Uh, or if he just decided this was a story he wanted to tell, and he wanted to write it and direct it, and then just happened to die. Um, so, 
Because yeah, like that's what <laughs> happened with Rent. The creator of Rent had an, a, a, just a very he died before Rent opened. Yeah, um, well, tragically, unexpectedly, but uh, yeah, it looks. Is this like what did he like? Did he know he was dying? Like well, I don't, I don't know. I would love to know, but I want to see this. I'll tell you that. I am. I was mesmerized by him on screen. Yeah, in this, he had he he was given such so honest. Honest eyes, right? Honest um, eyes, um, beautiful. It looks beautiful. Yeah, and I, I, maybe you know this. Like, how much of Bengali cinema is focused on theater? Bengali cinema is very proud of the fact that they are high art. And, yeah, but and, like, and the, in terms of the artistry and the weeks, level of obviously, we saw and the, theater. Theater is a big deal. We saw Natsumra, obviously. Yes. So is that like a central part of what they do? Is yes, theater, theater is a theater. They're very just very music, dance, mm -hmm. basically anything you can do artistically, expressed to its utmost is what comes from Bengal. That's great. A very deeply passionate, and yes, very deeply passionate about cinema being high artistry above box office. I mean, that's like antithetical to think just box that shouldn't even be in the mindset yeah and 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 that the level of artistry and and uh emotion connection and on and truth is a really really big deal like what we would get here with independent films where it's just done purely for the storytelling and the 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 wanting to elevate the art form well, and theater was, is a big fantastic deal. very interested in this Looks please beautiful send us all the information we need about like what's what what happened not, not what happened don't spoil it of course obviously and and should this be i mean we've already said we're gonna watch it's a foregone conclusion we're watching the apu tr trilogy and we're gonna watch everything by satyaj ray but other than him should this be our first exposure to contemporary bengali film because i would my first blush is i would love to watch this immediately oh uh, okay what no i messed up because for some reason in my head, I had not some Marat as Bengali, but it's Marathi. Marathi. I can't. I, yeah. I had it mixed up, which is why I asked the theater question. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah, I didn't make that connection. I'm all yeah. clear now. <laughs> I'm aware now. <laughs>